Hello friends. So this is kind of a currently inked, <laughs> I'm not sure what to call this video, but basically for December I mostly was using up 30 inked pens, but not entirely. I did ink some pens up, maybe a lot of pens, but I didn't put a lot of ink in them. So I thought I'd show you what is currently inked. And I'm feeling like I actually need to ink up a pen. By the way, isn't this just like magical? Um, so I'm, I'm going to look at these with an eye towards... Can I ink up another pen? And what I would want to put in it. So let's find an empty page. This is how I'm using this right now. Uh, if you watch Manda's videos, yes, I definitely took this idea from her. Um, down to getting an automatic pen, but I love that thing. It's so dope. This I've just been scribbling and then writing what I've used it for. If I remember, like after the fact, I thought, well, I should put these names in. Um, look at this, Mystic Mountain left over from October or even earlier. I found a note saying that I put this in the pen in August. And I think I, I cleaned it out because I used this pen for 30 inks, 30 days in September. I think... Anyway, Jenny Black again. So, should we just do this in the back? I'm clearly very organized. Note. Note, we're writing here. So, these are most of the pens that I've used that didn't have just like a sliver of ink left. Um, I could look up when I inked them. I have that here. I have it in this journal. And I write down, you know, the date, etc. So, Let's start with, I think, the one that's been inked the longest. That It almost feels like a millstone around my neck at this point. Like, I want to be done with it. And so I'm not keen to write with it. But I think that's okay. I think it can stay inked for a little while because it's this Twisby Eco in Cerulean Blue. Write that down. Because I can't just say it. I have to write it because this is a thing. Pen-related thing. Be eco cerulean blue with I'm writing too big. Oh, medium, right? Yeah, I put the medium on here from the glow. Uh, Tsukio. This is like juicy as all get out. Look at that. Oh, we like that sound. So I love this pen. I love the ink. I like the combination, but I'm like, uh, this has been inked since 10, since October 11th. It's like two and a half months now. And I'm, and I'm like, okay. You're nice. This is my Walltown Catsburg. I think I can actually clean it out if I want. I have just a few drops of ink left in there, but this is the last of a sample, and so it's compelling me to write with it, like finish every drop. So this is my... Did something happen there? So juicy. Just go with it, I guess. 
Um, and this is Sailor Manyo Nadeshiko. Um, lovely, lovely ink. Maybe I'll use write with this tonight, and that'll probably finish it. I just have my like nightly journal, and then I'm gonna make um a list or something. And this was inked up as part of November 30 inks. I don't remember which day because I didn't. I don't track that. You can see here. Um, I just do non. 30 inks types pens because then I know when I they ink those up and then oh I have nail polish that my, matches this now that I should be wearing and I'm not but best say love you um it's almost the holidays I thought I would wear more festive nail polish when I polish my nails I should gotta add that to my list polish my nails okay so this is my Walltown Watts. Holy cow. Why are my all my pins so juicy? If you have any theories on why that is, let me know. I'm pretty sure I didn't drop these. And this is Scribo Naturno Viola. I, love, I like this ink a lot. This is the fully Manda made me do it experience right here. Love this pen. Then we have this one. Obviously, Twisby Eco in pink. There are some sites that still have it. I only could find it in extra fine. So that's what I have. We know how I feel about that. Um, I mean, it does let me write in just one line, but I don't require that for my life. It looks like it says Ello Eco. This ink is um, P.W. Ackerman. Polkery pink. I think it's Polkery. Um... In some ways, this ink is perfect for this pen because they're both a little bit warmer than I was hoping for. <laughs> but still lovely. So I'm not drawn to this because it's extra fine. And I knew that. So what I could do is swap in a more um, broad nib into this. I got the extra fine. I, I, I'm not sad that I got it uh, because it'll be good. I now have five Twisby Ecos uh, and I have all of the nib sizes. So I should say is I have an extra fine, a fine, a medium, a broad, and a stub. So I think that's useful um, to look at. And then, uh-oh, you know what I just realized? I didn't write one of these in here. <sighs> fail. This is the next one. I should have, this is like basically empty. This has been my delight this month. D light. There's only one. Well, like see surprising delight. This is the delight is the ink, right? As opposed to the watts where the delay is the pen. So this is my Twisby Go and Smoke, the broad nib with Pannonia Shigoi. Um, I love this so much. It's juicy. It's especially juicy right now because I just like, you saw it. Um, I, you can see maybe, let's see if it's focusing right there on the pigment that's all up in the feed. So that's going to be fun to clean, I'm sure. Um, given how empty it is, probably going to clean it soon. 
But, oh, this has been a joy. A uh, joy. And then, this was like, I really want to use this ink. So, I just put a little. I didn't put a lot. I do this because it, like, helps really shake up the shimmer that's in here. Because it'll, like, stick at the back. Anyway. At least it seems to for me. So, this, again, is another Twisby Go in Sapphire. The broad nib. And the ink on this one is... Wearing Ghoul Wayfarer. I've really enjoyed this ink. Hardly a surprise because I'm a bit basic when it comes to, guess what? I love blue inks. I love teal inks. <laughs> I like shimmer. Here we are. The other standout of this month my like so one of the things I think I might do is actually fill this more like not change out the ink just more this is right here this is the countess she made me do it if you're not following the countess or creepy nibs I recommend it her ink uh, review videos are so in depth, um, just amazing. And her handwriting is spot on, and I love her sketches. And I'm kind of a fangirl right now, so we're gonna stop because this is currently inked. This came with a fine nib, but I'm fairly certain I swapped it out. <laughs> so this is the Twisby Eco. We'll just pretend those are the right letters. In black, yeah, this is absolutely a broad nib. That was an X for sure. With color verse, shiny black. Now, it's been a while since I've used black ink because there's so many colors to choose from. And in this month, you're finding me in love with two black inks. My two favorite inks this month. And there were some blues, my friends. My two favorite inks this month are Stragoi and Shiny Black. Now, it'll be curious to see how they fare next year. Because if I had allowed myself to do new pens and ink, um... These may have made the list, I don't know. And then the last one I have inked up right now is this um, Ferber Castell Hexo with a broad nib. Because <laughs> I'm basic about many things. With a Pilot Orochizuku. Yamabudo. So, I love this ink. I was really torn on my top inks. And I have not loved this ink in this pen. I think the nib needs a little bit of work. I think the cross strokes are scratchy. Maybe I did the nib work. Well, whatever. They were a little scratchy in one direction. No big deal. Be fine. But I like this pen. I'm glad I got it. Uh, part of me wants to, like, scrape this off. But, you know, we'll just lay it down that way. So these are the pens that I currently have inked up. And looking at them... I want to I want to add another pin to the mix, but I 
What kind of color do I want, really? That's the question. I gotta think about this. And write down the shiny black in this book, which I didn't do and I'm frustrated by. I'm back with some supplies. So I have a few really obvious choices for, um, I don't remember how these pens were in here. That's frustrating to me right now. Um, I have a few obvious choices for inks I could use, as well as some for one for a pen I could use. So I have still not inked up my placier in Black Mist. I also, I replaced the nib in this Shimmering Sands and I haven't inked it since then. Which I didn't remember until just now. Um, but the obvious inks, sorry, this just doesn't fit. Uh, the obvious inks that I have are these two. The KWZ Turquoise, excuse me, and uh, Colt Pen's Midnight. So a, a non-shimmer, like a standard ink, and this is a shimmer ink. And I haven't used either of these yet. Um, but I don't want to put shimmer in either of these. So, um, if I do that, I gotta, you know, think about it. Let's get a rag. So, I think... I don't dislike the idea of using turquoise in one of those. I had thought about it, maybe this is actually why, because I had thought about putting turquoise in the placer for a while. And so I think my mind is predisposed to like that. Um, so I think I should go ahead and do that. I am putting more shiny black in this eco. Because why not? I'm really enjoying it. And it's an eco, so it'll clean well. I think I gave a sample of this to my friend Pete. I was like, hey, did I give you a sample of this ink? And he was like, no. And I was like, oh, bummer. And then he was like, oh, just kidding. It looks like you did. <laughs> and I was glad that, I mean, only minutes had elapsed, but there was still the chance that I had gone in that time to make him a sample. Um, okay, so we filled it. I like to like try and get the ink from right in here. What does this ink look like? Beautiful. Yeah. I feel like none of my colors are festive. I hope you don't care. Who did I see do this? Mystery Arts? She liked them to be more perfect, I think, but hmm, I'm enjoying that. The wabi-sabi of the imperfect circle. Um... I like the saying, whether you're a believer or not, um, in a deity, I like the saying that 
Oh my God, our only ally is perfect. Okay, well, I was just about to like give up in super frustration and then it worked, it closed. So, let's do it. Let's put turquoise into my place here. Oh, you know why I didn't ink this up for forever? Because I was waiting to get that um, converter. Did I? Thingy? I don't think I did. You know how I like to thingy. Clean. I couldn't think of the term I was looking for, but I cleaned it with some water. Um, I'm recording this in advance, like some professional YouTube person, not just being like, I made a video, upload it now. Um, I do still do those, but, um, I already have a video scheduled to go live. Well, it's one o'clock in the morning, so, uh, in five hours. Shame on you. Um, <laughs> so, this is going to make a good circle. So, oh, the vanilla. Oh my gosh, I got to make cookies or something. Anyway, so, what was I saying? Oh, recording in advance. And, I did so much cleaning over the last two days. I am so proud of myself. The, uh, uh, a friend is like, hey, I'm going to be in your area. And I was like, oh, God, I got to clean. Um, not that my place is messy per se, but, you know, it's a good impetus for me. Um, and it was just time to do some of my cleaning. So like cleaning the bathroom. So I did that and I was like really frustrated with my kitchen. So I actually like went through the cupboard and was like getting rid of expired food, which really saddens me because I hate wasting food. Um, I, I have a hard time seeing into the pantry so stuff goes to waste. Um, or did. I'm trying to get better at that. Uh, which largely means I don't have as much in the pantry that can, can expire. Um, so anyway. I love that this is such a basic ink. Like, really, what chromatography? <laughs> um, so I cleaned out some of the pantry and reorganized the counters and cleaned the counters and then um, I don't have a mop for reasons that I think are good or thought were good at the time and I so I use cloths reusable cloths to clean my floors um so, uh, I did that for the whole downstairs floor, not my, not my work area, because I'm on vacation right now, so I'm not going into the office, <laughs> but I did the kitchen and where my couch is, and I cleaned off the coffee table, and I cleaned my bathroom and did all the floor, oh, and my house looks so good, well, I can say house, but my place looks so good. I'm so happy with myself. Um, and I also had a doctor's appointment today. Well, doctor, I had to have a thing. Um, I'm going to just, it's going to start feeling awkward. Just a standard checkup thing. And... So then after that, I bought bread and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And actually, my pecs are sore from like scrubbing my tub so thoroughly. I need to get more cleaner, but. <laughs> This is so nice. This nib writes so nicely. This is my first inking of this pen, and I think I've chosen well. I think I've chosen an ink that is not gonna be fussy. It's gonna smell delightful. And it's a nice bright ink. Let's put it down here. Kind of a chatty video, but it, you know, Y'all are the only ones that I talk to on a regular basis. Um, so th and, uh, this is the same nib that's on a preppy. Um, so if you want a similar experience for less money, get a preppy. which you'll have seen is a pin that I would rec I would rebuy. Um, I really liked the matte black of this pen. <laughs> that's, that's the whole reason I got it. The only way this could have been better is if they had done a black metal trim, like black nickel or ruthenium, something like that. Now, here's the ink pens I have. Here's the inks I have. They're missing something. Right? Simone would be able to help me with this. She's so good at like thinking through things. But you know what I've discovered I like to do? I think I like just like writing and then feeling like I want to ink a new pen. And as long as this is too many pens inked right now. Right? I'm not happy with this. But this pen, where'd it go? Y'all, I just lost the pen. Oh, and the one that I already put aside. And this pen, they're basically empty. This one has a day or two left in it. So I feel better about having, what is that, six, seven pin, six pins inked? This doesn't stress me out. Um, but I like, you know, I write and then I think I want a different pen or I want a different ink. Oh, this is almost empty too. My first filling. There's something kind of special about that, huh? Anyway, so I kind of dig the, um, the sort of happenstance filling that I method that I have, which is, you know what, I feel like a new pen. I'm gonna go ink one up. Rather than I'm gonna pick out all of my colors at the start. Cause I think what that lets me do is I could be like, you know what? I really feel like writing with blank today. And then I could go through my pens like maybe I think I really want to write with this pen and then I can ink it up with something that feels appropriate. Or maybe I think I really want to write with this ink and I can ink that up with something that feels, um, or find a pen that feels appropriate. Um, but I do feel like, I, you know what? It's because I'm eager now. I, I almost forgot about this. What pen do we want to put this in? Probably my Twisty Blue. Because it's a blue ink and I'm basic. You know, I say that like it's a bad thing. It's a fine thing. You're allowed to be that way if you want to be. I could put it in here. Look at that. It's rainbow. Mmm. Mmm. In here. Okay, I y'all vote down below. It'll be too late. I'll have already inked it up because I'm about to do that now. But which do you think my choice will be? The Diamond 580 or 
the transparent blue. For midnight. Y'all, I'm already rethinking this decision. Like, maybe I should have a different bright pink. Or a green. Do I want a green just because it's Christmas time? Am I being incredibly indecisive about something that hardly matters? Hmm. Yeah, Marie, I think you are. Well, have a sip of water. In the meantime, you'll have thought about which pen I'm likely to choose. Sorry if you heard my water drinking, but I'm feeling really thirsty. So. Did you choose? 580? <gasps> Me neither! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe we should do a giveaway together. You know what I discovered? I've been streaming on, on Twitch since 2016. a big deal I guess I feel like I messed this up already let's do it again I'm already regretting this like I should just put it in the blue pen but I like that I'm forcing myself not to. A little bit. What do you think about making the circles on the pages with the ink bottle? Man, everything smells like vanilla. <laughs> this table um, I've actually been sewing well, kind of a lot and it's, it's got my sewing stuff on it like right here behind this pen are my snips right here that's I don't know if you can see it is my pin cushion my metal pin cushion this is my knee lift lever <laughs> But it's a reality because I need to sew the belt loops onto my jeans that I'm almost done with. Belt loops are my least favorite part because that part of the, there's so many layers of jean fabric there that my machine is like, why do you hate me? Like, sorry, jeans. Or sorry, machine. It's just how it is. So let's look at how we like it. Ready? Okay. We're off to a good start. Right? When the pen doesn't want to write. Yep, everything's great. Like you all saw me. We just inked it. May have baby's bottom. Because I think that can be a symptom where it has a hard time starting. And then if you get it wet, it's okay. Um, what is this? Oh, yeah. Mm. 
midnight. Totally had enough room to write that. Take a look at that when it's dry. I didn't fill this pen. Maybe I'll put a hot pink in it. Why not? I don't have all my pens inked. Look at it, it did it. Y'all saw me, right? You saw me cleaning it. F's in the chat. What was that about? Hmm? I think you're supposed to like a drop out of the pen and I didn't do that. Okay, first, can you see that shiny black? Oh my God. Oh my God, this ink, this ink. How is this not like super limited edition, amazing? Oh, I didn't do the top of the bottle and I meant to, well. So there you can see the shimmer on shiny black. I'm not seeing much of the red in Strigoi. The Noturno Viola. Sorry, this is probably going in and out of focus, but you don't need focus to see like the sheen. There's a bunch of gold sheen on this. The Wayfarer, I think you can see, yeah. That purpley blue shimmer with the and then, oh yeah, at midnight. So I didn't really brighten things up like I hoped to. But we had fun. Well, I had fun. I hope you had fun. In January... I'll try and do a progress report mid-month and see where I ended up. You know, like, how did this work out for me? Is there anything I'd want to change? I really do think the idea, though, of, like, a rolling currently inked or a roll, like, that might be the way to success for me. Like, I, I admire people like Chris Sainz and Simone, who um, really, they are intentional with their choices. They plan for the month and they, they pick their pens for the month and they pick their ink and they'll tell, they have like a color story, or they have a whole theme that they're doing and I admire that and I could do that. But I think what I'm discovering is that I'm happier with the sort of rolling currently inked, you know. So me doing a mid-month progress report could work, but it could mean that like, well, I just actually inked that one pen yesterday because I just kind of felt like it. But I think that's okay. So that's partly why we haven't seen that kind of video for... December is, you know, I was waiting until somewhat late in the month to get my converter for the placer, to get my black eco for the color of her shiny black. Well, it felt like late in the month. It was probably not. 
and and it kept feeling like, well, you know, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna ink up another pen. I should wait. I should wait. So, anyway, I'm kind of rambling now. Uh, I think there's a good chance that maybe I'll put this video up on Christmas because. Um, why not? Because then if you're there and you're watching videos, you've got a new one to see. So if that's the case, I hope that you're having a fantastic Sunday because that's Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you're having a Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate anything, th that's, you know, that's totally fine. That's why you have a good Sunday, I hope. Um, and, uh, I really hope it's a wonderful day. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know, do you like any of these inks? I feel like, do you have a favorite? Um, what is your, like, how do you go about inking pens? You know, do you have this sort of sit down, plan it out thing? Or are you like a seat of your pants? Eh, just do whatever. Let me know. I'm really curious. Again, thank you for spending your time with me. I know you have a choice of YouTubers with which you spend your time, and I'm glad that you've chosen me. <laughs> Sorry, like flight attendant speech. <laughs> Take care. Bye.